stay. Right. Even I, I, I say this to all athletes right now. When you guys, when we're talking about, because you know, even though there's a lot going on, correct. The, the George Floyd situation mm -hmm. with the Breonna Taylor, yes. and, you know, and I had to take, you know, it's so it's so much crazy stuff going on. Breonna Taylor is born and raised in Grand Rapids, Michigan, like myself. Okay. You know, I know Breonna Taylor, father. You know, he actually, he's in prison right now. Mm -hmm. I know her father. Now, we look on a court right now, on the NBA court. Right. And we see these guys, we see these guys kneeling. Yeah. And we see Black Lives, Black Lives Matter. Right. This is what I want to say for the, the athletes and the entertainers. This is what we need to do. We need to have different policies come in as far as with, with these, these police officers. How I mean, police interact with us. If there's something that's not done right, if it's something that's not done right, you guys get the death penalty or you guys get life without parole. Wow. If that happens, then guess what? Then we're going to get some different results. Then this will stop. But as long as these guys are just getting a slap on the wrist, this will continue to happen. So I don't want these, I don't want the NBA to just put that on the court. I don't want the NFL, I, I don't want these guys just just kneeling. Right. Do something about this. And, and if you guys do something, like what I said, these guys, at the officer, the same officer that did, those officers that did that to George Floyd, they deserve life without parole. Well, before, Floyd, can we, we're just not starting to get officers charged. So can we get them charged and get some conviction before we move to the death penalty? We, I mean. Guess what? I, Guess what? what? What happened? Charges ain't gonna be nothing but a slap on the wrist, and they'll be back out and be back with their families. Oh, well, I, I agree. I agree that because the police unions are so strong, you see the guy that shot, I think his name was Rashard Brooks in Atlanta, he's already suing to get his job back. And because they get slapped, as you mentioned, they get slapped on the slapped on the wrist, they get to go right back on the street. They got Floyd, where can you work at if you got 25, 30 complaints and keep your job? You kill one, two, three people, and you keep your job. How? Um, it's rough. It's rough, and it's tough. I um, mean, we we have to come together. We have to come together and work together and stop being jealous of one another. Mm -hmm. We have to. We have to stop worrying about who got the most this and who got the most that. And uh, who's the best here and who's the best there and work together as one. We have to. We that, have to. That, that would be nice. But Floyd, you do 